Hi, this is Mike. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today is going to be uh, kind of a surprise video. Um, last Saturday, June 24th, uh, was my wife and I's uh, 17th anniversary. Uh, she kind of planned this trip, wouldn't tell me where we were going, packed up the whole family and drove here from Warren, Michigan, up to Owasso. And for those of you that recognize Owasso, that is where the Pear Marquette 1225 steam locomotive is located. Uh, you'll see that in some of the videos here. The running gear is removed from the locomotive, uh, currently being rebuilt. If you follow their YouTube channel and their Facebook page, uh, you can keep up to date on how that progress is going along. Um, but they are hoping to have the 1225 up and running uh, for this fall and the, into the winter uh, months. Uh, they do the, the Polar Express excursions up to uh, from Owasso up to a little town called Ashley, Michigan. Uh, my family and I did that eight years ago now, um, during a very blistery blizzard of a day, uh, and driving back from Owasso here to Warren was uh, quite the experience that evening, so it was still a great time. Um, the conductor, I don't know if you could hear it on the video, but uh, we did the, the, the caboose rides. They had two Ann Arbor caboose uh, hooked up to a little switcher engine. You started right by the depot, uh, by the Steam Railroading Institute main building, and they drove you back, did a complete 360 on the turntable, and then came back to the main building. So there's two videos. One video is going back to the turntable, and then the other video is actually my daughters and I up in the cupola on the way back to the main building. You'll see that in the video. Um, they had an all-gauge uh, display inside the building. You'll see videos of that. Uh, they had a 7.5-inch scale uh, rideable locomotive that my daughter and I rode on, and the video shows... We get about halfway around the track, and the guy runs out of gas. So, of all the days and times, you know, for that to happen, it had to be when I was riding that train. So, uh, you'll see lots of video um, of the, 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 the military vehicles that were on display there. Uh, that was part of an event they had on uh, the 23rd and 24th of June. Uh, and the, there were so many people there. Um, on the uh, Steam Railroading Institute's Facebook page, they did... Uh, announced that they are working with that same group of uh, military vehicle owners uh, to hopefully do this again next year. And uh, if they do, it was a great event. Um, it was just a spectacular day to drive up there, spend the day, you know, with trains, which is exactly what I'd love to do. O-gauge, full size, and the 7.5-inch scale. So it was just a great day. So uh, no, the layout's not built in the garage yet. We're still, I'm still down here in the basement. You can hear the echo. Floors were installed, but that's about as far as we got so far. We still have to pick out our cabinets to redo and then hopefully get some of the stuff moved out of the garage down here back to the basement. So maybe before the end of the year, I can actually start building my big layout out in the garage. So keep your fingers crossed, and uh, if you pray, pray for me. <laughs> I need all help I can get. So hope you enjoy today's kind of mishmash of uh, some of the videos we took while in Owasso, Michigan, on June 24th, 2023. Thanks.
making noise. <laughs>